what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today is episode 85 and pretty much we're just gonna go down the list of earnings that we have for the week of April 29 2024 so kicking off on Monday we do have SoFi pre-market and also notable we have uh, Domino's we have Philips and then on Monday after close we do have Paramount we have Logitech and um, NXB. So going into Tuesday, we have PayPal pre-market. That's one of those stocks you definitely want to keep an eye on. And we also have Lilly, which is Eli Lilly, another company you want to pay attention to. We have the industrial giant 3M, and we also have McDonald's and Coca-Cola. So all of those companies are real bangers. You definitely want to pay attention to Tuesday pre-market for earnings. Also on Tuesday, it appears Tuesday is going to be a real massive day. We have Amazon. I expect Amazon to report record numbers in terms of cloud because Amazon is probably the dominant service in the cloud area. Uh, Google just reported earnings and smashed on cloud as well. Amazon being the dominant force right now in cloud. I would say I would expect them to have record numbers, which could potentially see the stock move into the upside. We also have AMD, which has had some difficulties. Then we also have Starbucks, which is kind of like, eh. And then we have Riot, which is the, um, the cryptocurrency company. So definitely keep an eye on that. That's another one that moves crazy. We have Pinterest also on Tuesday after close. And then going into Wednesday, what pops out for me pre-market, we have Pfizer, which is another company you want to take a look at. It's a relatively cheap stock, so options should be cheap on that as well. Then we also have CVS, which has been, you know, eh, somewhat decent. Uh, also on Wednesday, we have Marriott and then we have Genrac. Genrac is another company that moves on like wild, wild rides. So pay attention to Genrac pre-market Wednesday. After close on Wednesday, we do have Qualcomm, we have Pay.com, we have Fastly, we also have Etsy. So pay attention to those. And then on Thursday, looking on the list, the only thing that stands out to me is Wayfair on pre-market for Thursday. But then Thursday after close, we have the tech giant Apple. So definitely pay attention to that. Also, we have almost every option traders favorite um, stock DraftKings Thursday after close so definitely pay attention to DraftKings and then on Friday we do have FUBU which is the streaming service and that's pretty much it you know it I'll pause it's up on the screen guys so you guys could take a look at it maybe some of these companies you know some you know some of these companies you're familiar with that I'm not familiar with but definitely pay attention to earnings. The one thing I want to say to you guys is do not gamble on earnings. Don't go ahead and buy a bunch of calls. Oh, this stock is going to go up. Don't do that. You know, you could play it running up if you have time. Like, for example, I see Apple here. Apple does have room to run Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, even Thursday. I would say I'd get out if I was playing calls. I would get out Thursday probably around 1, 2 o'clock if I was playing calls. And then if it goes up then you catch the wave again in you know friday morning if there's enough momentum i'll do the same thing with um draft kings as well and you guys if you've been following me for a while that's always been my strategy as far as playing earnings buying the calls or buying the puts hoping that it's going to go in the direction you're just gambling so definitely don't do that all right so this one was a short video today guys i just wanted to put you guys on game show you what's going on don't forget to subscribe if you like information about stocks. I make new videos every day. And also, go ahead and like this video. But more importantly, please share this video with a family member or friend. Thanks again for watching this video. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace.